So you've done the self-help and you've dipped into some personal development, but now you ask the question, now what? What can you do? Well, if you want to escape the apathy, step right this way. So twice a year, I teach a course called Autonomy. It's a 12-week personal development and training course. What people get out of it is multifaceted. Uh, there's curriculum, there's exercises, there's camaraderie. You make new friends. There's a whole lot of interesting things. We're going to hear a sample from the course right now, and it's, let's take a look at the value these students are getting. What I'm teaching you guys all through the course, aside from the curriculum, in these exercises is communication. And it's your ability to initiate contact, listen, cognize and comprehend, understand, and then maintain that conversation through a rapport building stage to the point where you guys find something of meaning and substance you want to discuss and work on. And then from there, if you can help them make a better plan, then you make a plan to go forward and maybe you meet next week or you meet tomorrow or whatever to take that next step. And if you can learn that essence and the casual nature that you can unfold that anywhere you need to, uh, that is going to be the best tool on your superhero tool belt of new accoutrements to help you live a lifestyle of freedom and liberty. And again, um, anytime we learn something new, there's anxiety, there's unknown, there's fears, there's awkwardness, there's embarrassment, all these things, right? So we just say, okay, that's the, the, the default. That's where people are coming in at. But what if we don't need embarrassment? I don't really find it useful. There's not a place for it in this course. So let's just take that out of there. The anxiety, the unknown, the fear. Well, let's start there. Is it going to go on for the rest of our life? Do we have unknowns? Do we know everything? No. So let's just be comfortable in knowing we don't know everything. But with that, that unknown, that uncertainty can come fear. And with that fear, you can say, I'm going to stay here. Or you can say, I'm going to question that fear. I'm going to get to know that fear. I'm going to get friendly with that fear. And then you get knowledge, understanding, experience, wisdom, skills. And then that raises your social currency to bring value and service to other people here on this planet during the short time we're all here. So that's the gist. And these are things that I learned about myself at the tender age of like, I don't know, 21, 22. And I thought I was going to college to get a business degree. And what they were teaching me was not going to help me to, to start a business. So I rapidly went through a training course over about six weeks. And then I practiced that skill all summer and I made three times what I did the summer before. And then I used those skills for the rest of my life in a very uh, forthright, ethical, integrity-based way. And uh, they're still that useful today. And I wouldn't sacrifice those skills. And those skills are about serving people, not pushing, persuading, convincing, conniving, forcing people to do stuff against their will. You won't need to do that. You, it, that's only for lazy people who don't know how to do stuff and it gives all the problem solving uh, modalities a bad name because they're not about being curious. They think they know something. They think they know better and they're going to tell you and that's not a way of communicating and we all find that to be cringeworthy. So you're also going to learn your way around that too. Um, telling is not selling. Um, learning is about asking questions and that ironically is the same thing of what sales is about. Sales is a learning process, high value problem solving. And if you have a methodology, you don't need techniques and closing techniques and all these sort of things that people try to pitch you with, right? So first as a consumer, you're gonna get intellectual self-defense, buyer beware. You're gonna know how to read into marketing and all the things that you're faced with as a consumer to see if you're, there's really something you know that's uh, worth your valuable money for, right? So as a consumer level, even if you never get into sales or running a company or doing all these things, you're going to find it useful just to see, through, just to cut through the proverbial bullshit of the everyday situation out there. Then from the service offering side, if you want to serve people, you actually have to go out and find what they want. What are their problems? What do they need? What's not being provided? What are the things they're maybe being overcharged for? And there's opportunity in the market to do something faster, better, easier, uh, scaled differently. Uh, different types of distribution models, all these sorts of things. There's always room for improvement. Everyone's doing some kind of self-help these days, and you can find a million self-help courses out there. Most other courses out there are hosting lectures. They're hosting videos. They're maybe even doing Q&As. And these are great starting points to encourage learning. But at Autonomy, we believe that hands-on practice is the best way to really lock in what we're learning. There's no better way to gain confidence and mastery than through action. After each lecture, we practice the concepts we've learned with other students, giving and receiving feedback in a non-judgmental environment. 
The result is mastery of concepts like entrepreneurship, ethical sales, and self-reliance in an environment that directly translates to the real world. Plus, you make connections with other like-minded individuals who are learning right alongside you, and you have a lifetime membership in the community. The Autonomy Course with Richard Grove equips you with confidence, competence, and courage in a world filled with confusion and noise. You can learn more at getautonomy.info. We'll see you there.